Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Cook It. I'm Ed. It is Sunday, uh, May 22nd. Alright, so you saw the broccoli in the walk. Today we're going to have broccoli and beef stir fry and brown rice, which I already have cooked. Alright, so we're going to get this beef brown here. While this is cooking, we're going to make the sauce and I'll tell you what's in it. Let that cook a little bit. Move that over here. All right, so what this broccoli and beef uh, stir fry consists of is a can of beef broth, two tablespoons of sugar, three tablespoons of soy sauce, and a quarter cup of flour. That's gonna be your sauce. So, what you're going to do, you're going to mix all of those ingredients together until the sugar and the flour are dissolved, and then you're going to add it to the beef mixture here. Now, this recipe also calls for uh, four cups of broccoli. I'm going to use a little bit more than that because uh, I think it's probably going to cook down. They want to make sure we get enough broccoli in the beef and broccoli. All right, let's put the camera down here and you can see what I do to mix it up. If I can get this camera centered. Ah, perfect. All right, here's the bowl we're gonna use. Here's the one can of beef broth, right there. The three tablespoons of soy sauce, right there. The two tablespoons of sugar, and the quarter cup of flour. So, you're just going to stir, 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 until all the ingredients are mixed together. And then add this to the beef here, which is frying away. You know what? I should probably get a whisk for that. I think I will. Okay. That'll probably do a lot better. So let's stir this up. Much, much better. I hope everybody is having a really great Sunday. And I hope everybody enjoyed the videos I put up yesterday. Now, I will tell you, it took a really long time to upload those videos. And I don't think it was anything I did. I don't know. I think it's with YouTube or something because it just seems like it takes forever to upload anything. Let's move this back over here. I think the sauce mixture is pretty well mixed together. Just stir that a little bit more just to make sure. Okay. Now what I did uh, before I put the beef in here, I did pour some oil over it just so we could get that um, a good sear on the meat. And I also put some sesame oil in there, just for some extra added flavor. Now, this the meat that I used for the stir fry here was just uh, some round steak. I got it at Kroger. Um, I probably could have cooked it a little bit or cut it a little bit thinner, but I didn't. But I think it'll work out all right. Hey, of course the dogs have got to start romping and barking and growling and playing with each other just as I'm doing a video because that's what they do all right so we're going to pour this in here and it says to bring this to a boil Let's 
until it gets thickened, which might take a few minutes. So what I'm going to do is put the video on pause because I don't want to have just a bunch of dead air and me trying to find something to say while this cooks. All right, be back in a few minutes. Okay, everybody, this has cooked for about probably five minutes. I wanted to make sure that gravy got nice and thick there. And so I think it looks pretty good. So let's give it a stir, just kind of take a look at it. I think that turned out perfectly. Now, I already have my rice on a plate over here, so I'm just going to put this over here, move the plate over here so you can see it. We're going to get some of this broccoli and beef out of here with the gravy. All right, I think it looks pretty good. Let's turn that down a little bit so it'll stop simmering. Let's add a little kikamon. All right. Put the lid on the wok. Put the camera up here, because I know you want to see me take a bite of this beef and broccoli stir fry. Get a piece of the beef here. That was a pretty good flavor. Try a piece of the broccoli. That's good. Now, let's get some of this rice with the gravy on it. It's good. Put a little bit more soy sauce on it. All right. Well, everybody, I think this recipe turned out really well. And that's pretty easy to make. Now, what I will tell you, um, I don't know if round steak would be the best meat for this. I just wanted to get something that wasn't really expensive. Uh, it is a little on the chewy side, but it still has a good taste. And I think I probably should have sliced it thin. I was considering getting the uh, that sliced thin beef that you use for uh, Philly steak sandwiches. I think maybe next time I do it. Yeah. That's what I'll need to get. Otherwise, it turned out good. And I think it has a good flavor. Pretty easy meal. And uh, if you make, oh, excuse me. If you make it, I think you'll like it. All right, everybody. Um, this isn't going to be a very long video. So... I might come up with something else to uh, put on YouTube. We'll have to see what that might be. All right, everybody. I'm going to get out of here for now. I'm going to get this video uploaded to YouTube, and hopefully it won't take hours and hours and hours like those videos did yesterday. Um, but if it does, I guess there's really nothing I can do about it. All right. We'll see you next time here on Let's Cook It. I'm Ed. If you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell, I'd appreciate that. And as always, send me those recipes. I love to read them. All right, I'm going to say it. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to taste good. This is Ed. This is Let's Cook It. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.